Greg, I really like to thank you for being here with us today. I appreciate you taking this time. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? No, absolutely. Um, I'm Greg Wozniak. I'm the founder and CEO of Glenview Doors. And first, I wanted to thank our, our audience for joining us. I know everyone is very busy, so it's great to opportunity to present uh, Glenview Doors to other uh, professionals. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you and your expertise, because I know I've heard you speak before. And unfortunately, we don't have enough time to, for you to tell us everything about Glenview Doors. So today we're really gonna focus on the pivot doors that you make because I think that they're an incredible product and yours really are different from a traditional door. Can you tell us about that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, typically a pivot door is different from a traditional door in one crucial way. Um, it has a hinge, which is offset from the door frame, which permits for the slab to be much larger than typical. And from that perspective, our door is pretty much same as any other door because we use a pivot hinge. Later today, I'll be telling you why we use the best hinge um, in the world and the benefits of it. But in addition to uh, using a pivot hinge, our door is actually designed um, as a pivot door. And I'm proud to say that we are the only company in the US offering a pivot door, which was designed to be a pivot door from the very beginning. And as we go through this presentation, uh, you guys will learn more details about the specific elements which make our door a truly a pivot door in addition just to simply having a pivot hinge on it. Now, are you seeing pivot doors as a market trend? Uh, absolutely. You, you know, we, we started uh, seeing that starting about three, four years ago. And I thought it's a very cool trend, but to be honest with you, it exceeded my expectation. Um, at the beginning, most of the interest was coming from the West Coast, and today it's coming from all over the US. You know, you name it, East Coast, Midwest, you know, mountains. Uh, it seems like the pivot doors are taking over the dream door um, among most of the potential buyers. Now, I know that you do a variety of um, styles in the pivot door. Are you seeing more contemporary or more traditional in the styling um, with, on the pivot door? As far as the uh, style, a uh, pivot door uh, you know, can work for any type of architecture, traditional, transitional, contemporary, or modern. Uh, but the trend which we're seeing is very much skewed towards a modern and contemporary doors. I would say 90% of the doors which we make definitely are modern or contemporary. Um, and I think that also goes with the available hardware, which is very modern and makes those doors really stand out uh, with a large pull bars available, you know, whether they're vertical or horizontal, they really complement the modern style extremely well. And we see most of the pivot doors out there um, made to complement beautiful modern architecture. You mentioned a minute ago that the Glenview door really was, or the pivot door from Glenview, excuse me, was created as a pivot door. Um, how does your pivot door really stand out from other pivot doors that are on the market besides just being made as a pivot door initially? No, excellent question. Um, you know, most, I, I would argue all pivot doors except our door come with in, inherent flow due to the way the hinge system works. So typically manufacturers just make a big slab, put it on a pivot door, which means there's not much insulation around the slab and the frame because you cannot use typical frame in order to open the pivot door the way the pivot hinge operates. So as a result, there's not much insulation and there's great level of air and weather penetration on the typical uh, pivot slab. In our case, um, we designed a pivot door to have a special double rabbited gem system, which is done on both the gem and the slab, which reduces the airflow airflow um, on the side of the frame. In addition, uh, we have an extra level of insulation on both the top and the bottom of the slab. And, and the slab is about three and a half inches thick. So you can just imagine the massive slab with the double rabbited system above the slab and the jam um, operates extremely smoothly and gives you a very tight door system, very superior to pretty much any other pivot door available in the marketplace. And you actually use a Euro construction, so that's a little bit different than anything we see here in the United States. 
Absolutely. So as the foundation of our door, you mentioned Euro construction. That's how we make our, our, do our doors. Our doors have a foam system inside, which is almost sandwiched in together between wood veneering. Uh, that prevents the door from a typical issues of warping and cracking. So that foundation of our Euro technology, which is used across our product line was as a starting point to develop our pivot door system. In addition, we uh, added the uh, double rabbited system on the slab as well as the uh, frame, which is represented on one of the drawings our audience is uh, seeing. Um, that really does the magic. It makes the door much tighter and allows you to enjoy pivot door in extreme weather conditions out in the East Coast, mountains, Midwest, you name it. Now, one of the other things I know about the Glenview Pivot Door is you offer a multi-point lock. What are some of the benefits of that? Excellent question. I'm actually surprised that some other manufacturers do offer pivot, pivot doors just with a simple deadbolt. Imagine when you have a four or five feet door being just secured by a deadbolt, we all know what was going to happen. That, that, that simply translates into troubles. The question is when, not if troubles. Uh, we would never make a pivot door just with a deadbolt. Um, given the uh, uh, desire for um, large door systems, our pivot door automatically comes with a multi-point lock system, which then easily allows us to offer to clients a wide variety of different pull bars, whether horizontal or vertical. The multi-point lock system makes the door very tight and prevents the door from warping, given that all those slabs are oversized, typically four feet or five feet, and as tall as eight feet or nine feet. That's amazing. Um, now, do you use a different type of pivot hinge on the, um Glenview doors than, than other manufacturers? Yeah, excellent, um, excellent uh, question. There's a lot of different pivot hinges um, available in the marketplace, but we use uh, the best one. It's called Fritz Jurgensen. Um, it's made in Germany. And there are two huge benefits of this hinge versus competition. Number one, it allows, allows you to make adjustments in the field of the door. So if you have a situation where the wall system is not 100% um, you know, even the hinge allows you to make some adjustments to make the door fit well. And the second very big benefit is this hinge does not require a pocket inside the floor to accept the pivot hinge itself. So once the door arrives on the job site with this particular hinge, you can install it like any other door, which makes the installation much simpler than using a traditional uh, pivot hinge, which requires a pocket in the floor. Oh, I think our builders and our installers will appreciate that um, just for ease of installation. Now, another question, um, what finish options are available on the Glenview pivot doors? So um, we offer many, um, starting uh, with mahogany veneer all the way to oak uh, veneer. And not only we offer different wood veneers, they come in multiple uh, finish options, um, starting from light stain colors to dark stain colors and also paint options. Um, in addition, we also offer aluminum cladding, which is phenomenal for conditions um, when a house is facing, let's say, west or is very close to the water. We recommend aluminum cladding and we offer multiple uh, paint options based on European raw collection. And those also can come with glass inserts as well as um, other stainless inserts or inserts made from other materials. Extremely durable uh, option. That's great. Can you tell me a little bit more about the pre-finish? Because I know we've had some of the window manufacturers offer a pre-finish, but it's mainly interior. Yours is interior and exterior, correct? Absolutely. Uh, we only sell pre-finished doors, and that is true across our Glenview door uh, collection. Whether you buy a traditional door from us or a pivot door, they all gonna come completely pre-finished, ready for installation. We do this because then we can provide a good warranty because we are very confident that our product was finished at the right moment with the right quality finish. Uh, we, we use the finest quality European finish process. Uh, we go through multiple steps uh, before the, Final finish is, 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 is ready. It comes with a great UV protection. Um, and importantly, it's very transparent. So when you receive the product, the product looks like a high-end piece of furniture and also comes with a very good uh, UV protection. So I only recommend uh, buying uh, pre-finished doors. Hopefully, if you decide to buy one, it will be a Glenview door, uh, but definitely uh, stay away from buying unfinished doors. Usually that leads to problems. 
Earlier, you mentioned some of the sizing of these doors. I mean, I, and I think that's one of the things that makes them so appealing to people as they can be so very large. So what are the size options that are available on your pivot doors? So typically we make uh, all pivot doors custom, so we can customize to the size. Most, in, most popular widths for a pivot door is uh, 48 inch, which is four feet, or 60 inches, which is five feet. Uh, these are two most common sizes of the slab. Um, we also do um, offer a solid side light option, which allows the customer to buy a door, which once it's closed, it looks even bigger than five feet. Uh, we can go up to 10 feet then because the side light, it's a copy of the door, which is a fixed component of the door system. And once that pivot slab is closed, they look like one large system. Um, one thing as far as the size, I think it's important for all our colleagues to know, we often get requests from people for a pivot door, not realizing that they do not have an opening big enough for a pivot door. Sometimes people come and ask for a 36 inch slab or 42 inch slab. Given that pivot hinge requires an offset, those sizes are simply too small for a pivot door because then the clear opening will be too small. In addition, uh, when someone is looking for 36 or 42 inch slab, we would recommend selecting a modern door from our traditional collection because we offer over 100 models in stock at the phenomenal pricing. The door looks pretty much the same as the pivot door except the hinge and people will get an opening um, based on the size they need. And that's a very special sort of customized hinge. That's not your standard butt hinge that we see on most doors um when you when you go to that so tell me a little bit more about how that hinge works i've seen it and i think it's amazing oh absolutely uh, we actually have two options we have a european concealed hinge option made by tectus once the door is closed you cannot see the hinge so it, it feels like a pivot door because there's no visible hinges but when you open the door that hinge um, operates very similar to a regular butt hinge, so the door fully opens, does not have an offset. So that's a big advantage for someone who's looking for a look of the pivot door, but does not have the opening size big enough to truly accommodate a pivot door. Um, also, we do offer a standard a butt hinges, like you've mentioned, for someone where pricing is very important. We offer that option as well. We have a very high quality standard hinge which can also work on our standard in-stock doors um, for those who are looking for the best possible value. And you mentioned, I know on some of your doors, you mentioned a minute ago on stock doors. Now, the pivot doors are not available as stock, correct? They're all a custom door? Correct. So all our pivot doors are made custom, and that primarily is because they are driven by um, involvement of the private individual or the designer. They usually have their own ideas what they want the pivot door to be or to feel like although we have many uh, designs to start with uh, usually they add a little a little small element from their perspective and thus we offer them on custom basis only that's amazing though so what would be a typical lead time on a custom pivot door yep so our lead time on pivot door is the same as on any other custom door so between 12 to 14 weeks and these come completely set up correct uh, yes, they come all pre-hunked, ready for installation. Uh, you just need to make sure you have a full crew of very strong installers because <laughs> these doors are very heavy. I, I need to warn you, they're not light doors, but they all come pre-hunked, uh, ready with, with, the with the hardware already installed. Um, we try to add as much value uh, at the factory as we can, so when they arrive, um, they're ready for installation. That's amazing. Well, I know a lot of our, the audience are going to have a lot of questions for you. Um, so I just wanted to remind them, um, we mentioned in the beginning of our presentation, but we will have a question answer session at the end. So um, any questions that you might have at that point, go ahead and, uh, and save those and then we'll get those at the very end. Greg going to answer them at that point. Also, um, Greg has touched upon a couple of things here. So when we follow up from this presentation today, we actually will be sending out um, catalogs and a great video that talks about the Glenview doors. We just didn't have time to fit everything in today, but we want to make sure that everybody has all the information that's available. So again, if you have any questions for Greg, please go ahead and type those in and we will get to those at the end of our presentation. Again, Greg, thank you so much for your time today. I truly appreciate it. It was very informative and 
anyone who has not looked at a Glenview door definitely needs to uh, take a closer look because they are beautiful. Doug, I'd really like to thank you for joining us today. Um, Doug is from Full View Door, and Doug, I'll have you tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, uh, my name is Doug Sequera. I'm the senior director for Full View Door Company. Um, it's a new brand that we launched to showcase these uh, wide open spaces, full view doors, uh, more of a bifold type door than sectional overhead. And uh, really excited to talk about it today. So what kind of doors does Full View Company have and how are they different from other doors in the market? Yeah, so the doors that we have, they're more of an upward acting bifold type door. So it's more of a folding action than what you'd see in a sectional roll up door. Um, so what you have is um, a bigger clear span. You can do larger doors. You can do more of an overlay on top, whereas uh, in the regular garage door space, you're limited on what you can do as far as weight and size. Um, and also you have a nice clear open space on the inside of the garage. So when you compare it to a regular garage door, you don't have the overhead door tracks that you have to worry about. You don't have the motor that you have to worry about. So you can really provide a nice, clean, open space inside the garage to match the outside of the house. Now, are these just for garage doors? Because it seems like in a lot of um, the different floor plans, elevations um, that I've seen lately, we're actually seeing these used for an inside out situation. Are you seeing them actually used in residential spaces other than garages? Yes, uh, so we see them used in both spaces, residential and commercial. Um, they're gaining a lot of popularity for residential use, not only for a garage door space, but also for a living space. Um, so we see them a lot in studios, uh, living rooms where you want to open it up out to the back. And then also commercial space. Uh, what's really hot right now is restaurants. Um, so of course, with COVID and everything going on, um, it really opens up the whole side of the restaurant. You get more airflow coming in. Um, so it really provides a nice look, something different, opens everything up. Um, and then you get into the more of the industrial commercial side of things, um, airplane hangar doors, convention center spaces, that kind of thing. They, they're really versatile, could be used in a lot of different ways. Well, I mean, that's just pretty amazing because it seems like we are seeing more people who want to have the ins, you know, inside out feeling. They're trying to maximize their space. This seems like a great opportunity. So what are the models that are best for residential applications? Yeah, so there's a couple of models that work really well for residential. Um, what you want to keep in mind in residential is since it is an upward acting bifold door, you want a door that doesn't take a lot of your headspace. Um, so some of the more traditional bifold doors will encroach maybe about 24 inches down from your headspace. Um, but we also have uh, our Lux reverse fold um, that only comes down about eight inches into your headroom space, which is ideal for residential. Um, also, our canopy tilt up door is a one piece tilt up door. And again, only hangs down about eight inches from your header space. Um, so if you had a typical eight high opening, you can still use it for getting most cars in and out. You don't have to worry about it. And then for that residential space too, once you have your counterweight assembly installed, everything can be concealed and wrapped. So once you pull inside the garage, everything is nice and clean and open, and you can design the inside of the garage space just like you would the rest of your house. That's amazing. So if we were to use these for a residential situation for a living area, is it possible to screen them? Yes. So you can also have screens, um, and they're also hurricane rated screens too. So if an area that has wind load requirements, you can do screens there as well. Um, and the other nice thing with the residential side, we can also do overlays on the face of them too. So one thing we're seeing right now that's really popular is more of a flush mount application. So you have the exterior of the home, the garage door, they want to be flush mount with the rest of the wall. So we can do our canopy tilt up side the front of the door to match the rest of the house. And it's seamless all the way across and just tilts up, opens up and blends right in. That sounds beautiful. So what's the first step in choosing a door from Full View Door Company? So first step is you really want to think about function and uh, what you're looking for for your space. Um, so like I mentioned on the residential side, one thing to keep in mind is what you're going to be using that space for. If it's going to be primarily used for a garage, you want to make sure that the door you pick will allow the vehicle you have to go in and out without encroaching too much on that space. Um, so that's why we really like to promote the uh, reverse fold and the canopy tilt up for a residential application. And then once you go into more of the commercial space, things to keep in mind are 
do you do you need a door that doesn't encroach on the interior of the of the structure? So if you have a restaurant application, you may not want a door that sticks into the inside of the restaurant. You may want to keep everything exterior. Um, also, air curtain. If you have uh, a supermarket, a conditioned space, a restaurant, people coming in and out, and you need to install an air curtain behind. There's another door for that too that doesn't encroach on the inside, so you can have that air curtain coming down. It's the air curtain. It's more of a to kind of keep insects out. So if you have a constant air curtain in, you get fewer insects coming in and out for a door that's going to be open quite a bit. Um, and as far as uh, more of the commercial side too, restaurant side, hospitality, um, if you want a door that kind of creates a canopy overhead to create shade, then we have doors designed for that as well. So when they're up, you know, during business hours, mm -hmm. it creates another design element, creates some shade for outside seating. And um, and those work well too. So uh, the first thing you want to think of is just what what's that space going to be used for, and that kind of helps you direct which model to choose instead of picking a model then try and design your project around that model. Okay, so you've shown us a lot of examples. I mean, there's just been some beautiful shots of some of the uh, products that you offer. Can these doors be customized, or they only come in a standard way with a few options? Yes. Uh, nice thing about the doors, they can be customized. Um, and it's kind of sky's the limit. Um, so standard door will have glass. Um, so it's full view glass. You can see in and out. You can customize it by doing different types of glass. Um, you can do overlays on the front. If you wanted half of it to be glass, the other half to be wood or metal, um, some other kind of design feature, rock, stone, we can do that as well. Um, we can even do LED glass. So if you want to use oh it more gosh. of a showcase for advertisement, you can do that as well or more of an artistic direction where you want the LED glass to display certain colors, certain times of the day, you can do that as well. So what's really nice about these doors is since they are um, operated by counterweights, you're not worried about a certain torsion spring up above. You're not worried about the door being too wide and getting flex in your section like you would with a regular garage door. You can really do do any almost anything you want with these. It's just limited by your imagination. That's fantastic because it all of the designs that we see now just seem like they get a little farther and farther out there. Um, people use their imaginations. It's everybody wants something that their neighbor doesn't have. So it seems like an incredible opportunity. Approximately what is a lead time um, for a full view door? Approximately lead time for a full view door is we're running about 10 to 12 weeks right now. Um, and that will be from the start of actually having the signed architectural drawings. Um, so the clock doesn't start ticking until we have everything signed off, everything spec'd out and detailed, um, just because you don't want a small detail to kind of delay production down the road. Um, so we do provide detailed architectural drawings for sign off. That way, everything's spec'd on there. We have the weights down um, and we can't do those till we actually have the finished opening. Um, so once we have all that, we can generate the drawings and get everything in the queue. And as we look at installation on these products, what's your recommendation as far as um, installation, installer requirements? What's out there on that side of it? Yeah, so since these doors are typically larger, um, you want to make sure it is installed by um, a licensed installing dealer. Uh, that way they have all the equipment, they have the insurance necessary for it, um, and they're capable of doing the work and making sure it's put in right. Um, so it is a large space. The doors typically are installed without the glass or the overlay. Um, so everything can kind of be kind of scoot it into place, get everything lined up. And once it's dialed in, that's when the overlay goes on. Um, so you really want to make sure somebody knows what they're doing when they're putting it in. That way it's ease of operation. You don't have callbacks and, and less headache. That sounds fantastic because I know in dealing with other products, the bigger they get, the heavier they get. So it sounds like being able to add all those, the glass, the overlay after the fact is going to make that a lighter product just for movement. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's less damage. You know, I mean, some of these doors, if they have all the glass, you don't have to worry about the door swaying a little bit or somebody, uh, you know, scratching a piece of glass and having to replace it later. It's just a lot cleaner to install it without. You put everything in, it's dialed in, ready to go. And when I think of, like, if I think of a garage door, and you said it earlier that it's a very different mechanism for how these operate. Um, is there any special knowledge that really, you talk about, you know, authorized installer, is there any special knowledge that someone would have to have as far as framing these out along with that installation? Um, no, so what's really nice about these is these doors actually fold in the opening. 
Um, so as long as you have your finished opening size and everything's nice and plumb and straight, you're good to go. Most of the load, it, it's not carried at the header like some bifold doors are. It's more of the jams and the force is driving straight down, uh, which is nice. Um, so you don't have to worry about a lot of torque on your header. Um, even with regular sectional garage doors, everything attaches to your header and your springs are attached to the header. You have a lot of pull there. Um, but what's nice about these, you get them installed, your counterweights are in, and your weight really doesn't change a whole lot. So once everything's dialed in, there's really not a whole lot of moving parts. You know, they have to worry about breaking over time. You know, you just check your cables, make sure your cables are good, and then your weight stack's good. As long as you're not adding weight or taking it away, it should be dialed in, ready to go. And am I, am I assuming that these are motorized? Or they can be. Um, most of the doors, once you get into larger sizes, we definitely recommend them to be motorized. Um, some smaller doors, you can operate them manually. And what's nice about the motor is it does mount to the shaft, and that can be rotated up vertically, so that way it can be concealed as well. So once the door is installed, you can rotate, if your headroom allows, you can rotate your motor up vertically, encase your counterweight stacks, and you just have a nice, clean, finished finished garage. I say, that sounds great. I, I One of the places that I've seen similar products, I'm telling tales of myself, but our wineries, they seem like right now they are a hot market for us across the country. It used to be that just California was wine country, and now we're seeing it across the entire United States. It seems like that would be an excellent opportunity for you. Oh, yeah, definitely wineries and de um, even, you know, tasting rooms, too. You know, a mm -hmm. lot of times you'll have the winery, they do tastings at the winery, and then they may have another tasting room in a more heavily populated area, you know, more of like a little shopping center. And you can do these doors as well. Um, it's something that, again, it opens up the whole room, so it kind of attracts people in. It is a bit of a showpiece, too, so it kind of gets that draw for people coming in and out. And again, with, you know, last year with COVID, you have this nice big open space. And it's just something different. You know, people love seeing something different when they're walking by on the street. It's something that draws their eye to that business. And it's definitely a standout and it performs well, too. This sounds amazing. I cannot wait for our first project that we can go photograph and uh, get some examples of this. I'm very excited about it because I know I said California across the country. I never thought that I would see the day that, you know, Minneapolis or Iowa or any of those areas would be doing big, huge, you know, types of doors, but it seems like it's an overarching product line across the country. So very excited to see all of our entities of BMD being able to offer this. Yeah, no, it's definitely very exciting. And, and we're seeing it a lot more too, you know, again, I think people are always looking for something different. And especially on a lot of these signature products, it's, you know, what, what can they put on that project that's definitely going to stand out from the previous project and what other people are doing? Um, so the way we're doing doors now, I mean, it's a lot of residential, a lot of commercial spaces, um, and it's just kind of really taken off. So we're we're excited as well. Well, I thank you so much for your time, Doug. I really appreciate it. And um, at the end of the session, we will have some question answers. So if any of you have a question that you'd like to ask Doug about the doors, availability, design, just go ahead and type that question in and we will go ahead and have Doug answer those questions for you at the end. So again, Doug, thank you so much for your time today, and I look forward to seeing what everybody has to ask you. Yep, sounds good. I look forward to the questions. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Thank you. Well, Maddie, thank you so much for joining us today. Obviously, you're our final speaker, so we save the best for last. With that being said, can you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. And thank you so much, Terry, for having me today. I'm thrilled to be here. So my name is Maddie Simpson. Um, I work and lead the national field marketing team here at Marvin. Um, I've got some background history, actually, from a distributor. I work for A.W. Hastings for five years, and I've been with Marvin in a more direct capacity for about 18 months now. Um, on a personal note, I live in Portland, Maine, and I live with my husband, my two and a half year old daughter and my dog, Piper. And when I'm not working for Marvin, you can find me hiking or exploring a beach or hopefully reading a book somewhere quiet for just a few minutes. So that's me. Quiet time with a two and a half year old. That is something I'm guessing you don't get a lot of. Hard to come by, but definitely savor it um, when it when it does happen. And my husband's great. He'll carve out some time. He'll make sure I get that every once in a while. So I'm grateful for that. Well, today we're actually here to talk about the new Marvin Swing Door but I'd like to really go back a little bit for our guests, just in case they really um, don't understand the Marvin modern product yet. Can you tell me a little bit more about the modern line from Marvin? Sure, I'd be happy to. 
So the Marvin Modern line was released really back in 2018. We started with some direct glaze units along with a multi-slide door. And then in 2019, we released uh, casements and awnings to the product line. And I'm really excited and happy to be here today to talk a little bit about the release of the Modern Swing Door. That hit the market in late April of this year. We also have some new and exciting Marvin Modern products in the works set to come to market in 2022. So more to come on those next year. Marvin's so how does this fit okay. into the Marvin collections? Yeah, great question. Um, so our modern line is part of the Marvin Signature Collection. This line brings really exceptional design, performance, and customer experience together. And it's really created a product line that meets the principles and standards of true modern architecture. So what makes the uh, modern unique to our marketplace? Yeah, absolutely. So as Marvin was really designing and innovating in an effort to bring the modern collection or the modern line to market, there were really three core pillars of this product line um, that we held close. So the first is really that it's designed for people. We designed the modern line with our customers in mind, really in support of product confidence, easy installation, and really just enjoyment at the end of the project, um, really for the end user, the homeowner, right? In addition to that, the modern aesthetic was really important to us as well. So each signature modern product, including this new swing door, meets the same exacting principles and standards, like I said, of true modern architecture. So we're really focused on maintaining consistent narrow sight lines throughout the product line. Um, and you'll see that with this new modern swing door. And then last but not least, um, category leading performance really. So made from high density fiberglass, our proprietary frame stands up to all the elements even at the largest sizes. So this line really delivers strength, durability, and energy efficiency. And like I said, that's true for this modern swing door, really in addition to the whole uh, modern line. Also, I've heard Marvin talk about modularity when it comes to the modern line um, and the new modern swing door, especially. Can you tell me a little bit about what that means? Yeah, especially from a design to. standpoint. Yeah, absolutely, I'd be happy to. So. I like to think about modularity in really the most basic sense, right? So the modern line is kind of like playing with a great Lego block collection. <laughs> it was designed to be able to connect all the available products into these large assemblies and walls of glass. So you can mull units together much more so than maybe in our Marvin Ultimate collection. Um, and then in addition to that, this modern swing door really truly rounds out a full house offering. We still have more products to come, but we're really excited that the addition of this swing door really makes it possible to design Marvin Modern into a full house package. Modularity starts to take on a whole new meeting with the swing door added to this line, right? So none of our existing Marvin doors can actually be mold directly to the side jam like we can do with this modern swing door. In addition to that, all of the products in the modern line uh, really have a three and three eight style and rails, right? So that ensures that products look really at home next to each other when mixed and matched. And that's again, what the addition of this modern swing door really does. It allows us to create those big assemblies, large walls of glass um, with still some function built in. So, so Maddie, can you tell me a little bit more about the modern swing door? What makes it unique and best positioned to win in this particular market? We're really excited about this modern swing door. I just mentioned modularity, and I would say that that is still one of probably the top selling features of the modern swing door. But really, in addition to that, the, the breadth and offerings of the sizes that this swing door can come in um, really facilitates design flexibility. And we know that's what customers want these days. So we're able to still maintain the clean and truly modern aesthetic while also offering that design flexibility from a sizing standpoint that we know our customers want and need. Um, one of the things I like most is that this swing door is available up to 12 feet high. That's a big door. And one of the things that makes this door unique is what we're calling the two hinge system. So if we compare this to our Marvin Ultimate doors, for example, the bigger they get, the more hinges are needed. So a five, a 10 foot door may require up to five hinges. Another fun way to think about the difference here, because I like these kind of analogies, is maybe old school braces versus more of the <laughs> modern Invisalign, right, solution. So the hardware is much more discreet on this modern swing door, and it's much more aesthetically pleasing. So it's extremely clean and attractive in its appearance. Um, and then last but not least, with the modern swing door, if you do opt for two panels, let's say a stationary panel and an operating panel, it's just one continuous frame and one continuous sill. So you don't get that mole at the jam site. And again, this just really offers that clean and modern aesthetic to this modern swing door. That's, that's amazing. I mean, just as far as how this was designed and the thought that went into it. 
<laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the aesthetics of the new door and how it facilitates a certain lifestyle for the end user, for those homeowners um, that they may be looking for as this design trend continues. Yeah, I'd be happy to talk to that one. So the Marvin Modern line and the new modern swing door, the design of, of really all products creates this lightness and openness in the spaces that we know homeowners use every day. It's why we created the modern line and this modern swing door with those kind of principles of modern architecture really in mind. We were looking to facilitate wide spanning views that connect um, homeowners to the outdoors and really stunning design paired with effortless everyday use. So we're excited about this door and really the whole modern line in general. In addition to that, right, we know that trend of bringing the outdoors in is really real. So stunning expanses of glass and comfortable interior temperatures year round make this line a great solution. And again, the modern swing door fits so beautifully into the existing Marvin Modern collection or, or line. We created a one of a kind frame for modern products that can achieve larger window and door sizes for dramatic views. Yet we're not willing to sacrifice the comfort of your space. So that's what you get with this new modern swing door and really the Marvin Modern line in general. We really allow you to frame beautiful, beautiful views and bring the outdoors in. So Maddie, again, thank you so much for being here today. I want to remind our audience that there is a question answer session as, um, as soon as we're done with this uh, part of the program. So anybody who wants to actually uh, ask a question, go ahead and type that in. And uh, Maddie and the rest of our guests will be happy to answer your questions. But thank you again for joining us and for being so informative about the new Marvin Modern Door. Oh, Terry, thanks so much for having me. And I look forward to fielding any questions that your, your audience may have here today. Thank you again. So again, thank you all for joining us today. <clears throat> we definitely would want to keep this conversation going. So we ask you to enter any of your questions into that little thought bubble at the very top. Okay, we have Greg, Doug, and Maddie all waiting uh, here to be able to answer those questions for you. I know we have some that have already come in. So Dalila is being um, our moderator for our questions. So I will have Dalila go ahead and pose those questions to each of our guests. Yeah, this question is for uh, Greg, I believe. What is the max pivot door size? So typ typically we're very comfortable to go up to five feet on the width and nine feet on the height. Uh, that that's probably the biggest size we would recommend without creating some challenges with installation and with actual usage. Thanks, Greg. And our next question comes in. Um, this is for Doug. Doug, you mentioned a license installing dealer. Can non license installing dealers sell this if using PBS for install? Um, yes, so typically what we want to do is have the actual install done by a licensed dealer, you know, somebody that's been trained for the install of the product. Um, and, but everything that we would sell would still go through a dealer. So we have other dealers that, you know, may sell different products that we offer and then sub out the install. So yes, that is a possibility. And Doug, what are the maximum width and heights for these doors? Do the different types have different maximum sizes? Uh, yes, they do. Um, so on the smaller side, we have one model, the Metro Stackfold. Uh, maximum size is 14 feet wide, 12 feet tall. Um, and then we do have models that will be over 50 feet wide and almost 30 feet tall. Um, so it kind of depends on the application. Um, the way certain doors are constructed, um, it kind of limits the size, um, but we can definitely do large openings. And this question is uh, for the team, Will BMD be sending literature on the full view doors? Yes, we will. We can definitely include that. Um, also, uh, you're welcome to go to the full view website. Um, and there's a lot of information on that also, but we will send a link for that along with uh, information. Yes. Thank you, Terry. Next question. Um, can the homeowner, homeowner provide their own pool hardware? And can Glenview then prep the door for the customer? pull hardware? Yes, uh, that's not a problem. You can simply uh, uh, ship us the hardware and we can have it installed. Thank you, Greg. Our next question comes in. Well, and we're getting quite a few <laughs> questions. They're popping right up, so it's making it a little harder to read, but here we go. Um, Maddie, how wide can we build the modern fixed panel for the swing doors? 
So that's a great question. Um, I sit squarely on the marketing team here at Marvin. And so I had asked Terry to have a little backup for me on the technical side of, of the door. So I'm going to actually defer that one out to Chris Martin from BMD, if that's okay. Chris, are you out there? Can you help us with this one? I'm out there. So maximum awesome. uh, panel size is on um, the width is eight feet by 12 feet. 12 feet. So okay. it get pretty big on those stationary panels. And the next question, thank you, Maddie, and thank you, Chris. The Full View website sends um, to Illumidor. Is this uh, cr the correct site? No, uh, that's a different site. You'll want to go to fullviewdoorcompany.com, and that'll take you to the correct site. Great. Thank you, Doug. And we do have a little bit more time if anyone has any more questions coming in. Oh, here's another question. What kind of motors are being used on the full view doors? Are the motors loud when they are being used? No, the motors are very quiet. It's more of a, a jack shaft type motor. Um, so it attaches to a shaft and operates the door. Um, nice thing about it, they are compact, so they can be concealed. Uh, they are quiet. Um, some of the alternative type doors use uh, hydraulics. So the hydraulic mo motors can be very noisy. Um, so you have to run the lines kind of far away from uh, where people are going to be congregating to keep down on the noise, whereas with this door, you don't have to worry about that. Thank you, Doug. And um, for those wondering, Mark uh, did just post the link for the Fuel, Fuel View Door Company down below. Perfect. One other comment I just want to bring up on the uh, modern hinge door that is a differentiator is our maximum operator side is size is four feet in width which is a pretty big hinge panel. Um, the Signature Ultimate line, uh, typically you can build a, a 42 inch door, but for us to go 48 inches or four feet in width is definitely unique. Thank you, Chris. All right, next question. Where do we send quote requests for full view doors? Um, so for that, you can email us direct. Um, and then that way we can refer it out to a local dealer or if you're already a dealer, we would just quote you directly. Um, so you can just go right to our website and send us an email. Also, um, just especially for our dealers in Northern Southern California, um, you're welcome to work through your territory manager and um, we can also facilitate a quote for you. Might be a little bit easier only because we know the questions to ask you um, to be able to facilitate that quote and get it out to you. Definitely. Any other questions out there? Well, I'd like to thank Greg, Doug, and Maddie all for uh, being giving such great presentations and so much information today. We truly appreciate you being with us and being great partners. <laughs> <laughs>